everyone, welcome to Tea Time with Bev. Alright, for today we are going to make a moisturizing body wash using black soap as the main ingredient. And this body wash is very, very moisturizing. It does not dry you at all. Um, we're going to need just a few ingredients and you can modify this um, with what, whatever you have at home. If you don't have the oils and the essential oils that I have, use whatever you have. Okay, so we are going to use jojoba oil, rosehip oil, lang lang essential oil. We're going to need lemongrass essential oil, geranium bourbon essential oil. This is for fragrance, rosemary oil, and this is also great for your skin and your hair as well. So you can also use this um, uh, body wash for also your hair. So we have finally the eucalyptus oil and it's also an essential oil this one has more of a um, kind of similar to tea tree oil and it has a bit of a, like a woody minty kind of scent and you're gonna need an empty container okay you can use an empty container if you're gonna use plastic make sure it cools down before you put it into it but if it's a glass container then you can transport it right away after you're done and then of course your black soap Okay, and then over here we have some boiling hot water, boiling water, and we have this large glass bowl. What I'm going to do, I'm going to set this glass bowl into the boiling water. So we're going to take this black soap and then we're going to go ahead and set it into the glass bowl. And what will happen is that when we set this into the glass bowl, it's going to melt it. And once the black soap melts, we'll go ahead and add our essential oils and our carrier oils. Okay, so it's gonna be a while for it to melt completely. Really starting to yeah, pour some water in there. Ooh. All right, hey everyone. Okay, so as you can see, the black soap has melted it's not liquidy you don't want it to be too liquidy and this is the time when you want to add your oils to it and then we're gonna mix the oils into the black soap okay so I'm gonna add a few drops of the geranium barbin essential oil and this one is very very potent so you don't want to use a lot it's very very strong a few drops of the lemongrass. Lang Lang. Drops of the rosemary essential oil. drops of the eucalyptus soil. Now finally to our jojoba oil. Love this oil. A couple of drops. Okay. And I really eyeball this. I don't really um, have an exact me measurement. I feel like you have to also determine it by the amount of black soap that you have. And I'm going to use two drops of the rose hip essential oil. So I'll be like two drops of this, two drops, and a few, like two to two, three drops of each of the essential oils so to estimate. That 
you have to mix it. And I'm gonna leave it to melt some more and I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up. But like I said, you don't want it to be a liquid. Okay, you don't want it to be in liquid form. So I'm gonna leave this a bit and then I will show you um, the results. Okay, so I did not add a lot of water to this because I did not want it to be in a liquid form. So when you're done, it should look like this. It's like a nice soft mold. This is what you want. If the more water you add to this, the more it's gonna be liquidy. So if you don't want it to be too liquidy, this is the, how it should look like when you're done. And then you will transport it into your bowl. Okay. And then you will just smooth it into the bowl. And then you will just leave it to cool down. So, this should be the result of your black soap. So I wanted to talk to you about uh, the benefits of black soap. Black soap, for this particular one, I bought it at the African market store. I know they purchase it from Ghana and they bring it here. But sometimes too, my uh, mom will send me some from Ghana. But this one we use here, you can get it in shea butter at any local African market store. And the benefits are endless, okay? But I'm just gonna list a couple. Black soap is great for acne prone skin. And it could be a bit drying at times, so that's why I added the jojoba oil and the rosehip oil just to kind of bring moisture back to it. And also a tip is, if you want to give it more moisturizing, you can add ole vera gel to it. And it will make it even more moisturizing and hydrating for your skin. But it's good for removing impurities. And it's good at removing like the dead skin cells from your skin. So it will pretty much just take the first layer of dead skin cells so that your new skin cells can come out. And it leaves your skin feeling so youthful and just, it glows when you use your skin. And it feels very, very soft. So that's what I like about the black soap. But, like I mentioned earlier, it's great for your hair as well. It will leave your hair feeling very soft and it will leave your hair, um, if you have issues with tangles, I know it's really great for that. The only issue with using black soap as a hair wash is that if you use it frequently, it will lighten the color of your hair over time. So I'll say if you don't want to change the color of your hair, use it sparingly, like once every month to clarify, to, you know, to be really clean your hair. But if you don't mind it lightening your color or, you know, as time goes on, then you can go ahead and use this as much as possible. Make sure you incorporate as much as moisture, deep conditioning, moisture treatments into your hair regimen. So I'm gonna go ahead and list all the benefits in the description box below, so check it out. Also, if you are interested in purchasing, like I said, go to your local um, African market store, even online, I know Amazon has it. I've never purchased on Amazon, so I don't know how the quality, but I will look into other um, vendors and I'll let you know of any if I find good vendors that sell black soap. If you have any questions or any comments, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a great weekend. Take care. Bye.